Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Ant Will Plays. Today we're playing Distant Shores from Choices. I know you guys, I think you guys are tired of me playing Choices videos instead of other games, but the thing is, I can't think of any other games to play on my phone. If you guys have any suggestions, then then um, feel feel free to ask and I'll do it. Except Fortnite. I tried it and it was too hard. Alright. Let's begin the let's begin the story. Your rescue plans are underway, but will they be under undermined by a discordant crew? Chapter 12, Enemy of My Enemy, is my friend. The next morning, you and your crew are speeding toward the deserted island where you and Edward hid the compass. Desperate to get there before the Admiral. Robert, are you sure we'll beat the Navy there? Beat the Navy? Rah! I make no guarantees, but a warship like the Admiral's is slow and steady. The, the nation... I can't, I can't curse, that's why. I c the nation is a nimble ship, that she'll get us there. There. If not before the Navy dogs. Then at the least in time to intercept them. <coughs> then we must prepare for both options. Prepare for both, prepare for both. You let Robert and Charlie continue to discuss the plan as you gaze out over the horizon. hope we're not too late if all this work has been for nothing but no I won't let myself go down that road not when we still have so much work ahead of us oi don't tie that line there we do things differently on the t mm -hmm. Maggie rolls her eyes good natured on as Octavia shows her where where things go you always did want everything to be just so Perks of being the first mate. Come along, Ginny. We've got we've cannons to see too. Tis just like old times, isn't it, Jonas? With the whole crew back together. Aye, girl. It is at that. Sails are might uh, are a might touchy today. Keep a knee eye out. You're one to talk. Our last main sail was torn because of you. That wasn't my fault. Don't worry about us, Kendrick. I like, uh, I like Ginny and that other guy's, um, like, father-daughter thing. Even though her parents passed away, or, I think they were killed. Uh, yeah, they were killed. You know, he still support. he still, <laughs> it's nice. The twins are already flipping and about the rigging, jumping from yard, yard ram to yard ram, as easily as it, as if it's the trapeze. Ada, catch. <laughs> Axton swings a rope over to her and she leaps from the mass to catch it, landing lightly on her feet on the crow's nest. Uh, never mind. You seem quite capable. Where did you say you found them, lad? The traveling circus. Of course you did. Watch your tone, boy. Or you just might find yourself out of a job. Not if I can convince Axton to teach me how to do that. He points up to Axton's silhouette, still somersaulting through the rigging. At least the two crews seem to be getting along alright. Nothing bonds you like like a late night of drinking. Land hall! Land hall! <whistles> We're here. Let's hope, hope the Admiral isn't. If you see a ship, that means it's, that means he's here. But if he's not here, good. You might as well hide the ship in order to s s make sure that he that you that they are here first. Circles the small island, checking all the coves and isles islets. We're clear. The navy isn't here yet. Then prepare for the ambush. 
<sighs> the crews get to work moving crates of weapons about. You spot Robert on the far side of the deck, looking pensive. You cross over to him. This is good, right? An ambush w will be easier because it gives us the element of surprise. Nothing about this will be easy, boy. You do your best to remember that. We'll hide the ship among the coves, then take a ro then take rowboats to the beach. Rack, trim the sails. Hi, <coughs> <coughs> Captain. Something's wrong with my throat. I'm sorry. Not you, Kendrick. Someone who actually knows what they're doing. Hi, Captain. I'm not gonna say it, but I'm gonna wait until it hap until something happens. Robert brushes past you without another word. Seriously? Don't take offense. I think he's still a little sore that we beat him at cards so handily the other night. He'll honor the bargain, but he won't be happy about it. I don't know why he's, he's in such a bad mood. If anything, he, he's getting the good end of this deal. Perhaps, although I believed his uh, good sign is the sign of a compromise when neither side of is satisfied. You take in Charlie's twinkling eyes and mysterious smirk. How are you in such a good mood right now? Aren't you worried? What if the Admiral arrives before we finished setting up the ambush? What if we lose to them in the fight? What if we get to the cave and the compass is already gone? What if what if Edward's already dead? <coughs> Oops, sorry. Charlie reaches out to cup your cheek, gently guiding her gaze up to meet hers. I, I worry about those things too, love. But you can't let the worrying stop you from for the fighting. The crew pulls up, pulls the ship into a small cove hidden from the open ocean, and drops anchor. Perhaps you should ride ashore with Robert. Our crews have little chance of coming out of this alive if our leaders don't get along. And like it or not, you and Robert are our leaders. What about you? You're the quartermaster. Aren't you supposed to be the de facto captain in Edward's absence? Aye. But who took charge right, when we were stranded on St. Silver? Sylvain, who united the crew under one caused and convinced everyone to follow this devilish plan. You are our leader, even if you don't have the official title. And as our leader, a show of good faith with Robert could go a long way in our success today. Glance across the deck to where Robert is overseeing the robots. Besides, it'll give you a chance to wear him down with your insistent questioning while he while he doesn't have a place to run. Charlie has a good point. If I'm going to make nice with Robert, I should do it before fight with the Navy. Plus, I can ask more about his history with both Edward and Charlie while we're alone. If it'll help me. Uh, anyway. Oh. Oh, fine. You nod at Charlie, then cross the deck toward one of the rowboats that just has just been dropped into the water. Robert, you're riding with me. <coughs> what? I most certainly am not go with the lad, Robert. There's only a short trip to the shore. And tis the less the least you can do. Fine, get in. <coughs> you and Robert pile into the rowboat, then cast off toward the island before you. The sounds of the crew drift away behind you as you row in silence for a few minutes. <coughs> so, why did you become a pirate? Jeremy Timbers. <coughs> Are you really doing this? What? Small talk. It's so pedestrian. Rock pedestrian. <whistles> A 
prayer circle overhead chiming in front of in from time to time. Surrender your booty. What? You'd rather sit in silence for fifteen minutes? Yes, actually. Well, too bad. I asked you a question, and I want to know the answer. Or do I have to threaten you with my blade? You mean, my blade? No, I don't think I do. Now, answer the question. Did you seek out this life? I, I did. Really? You wanted to be a pirate? <clears throat> that surprises you? Seems like most of our crews lived this life because they didn't have any other option. That's true enough, but I've been fascinated by piracy since I was a boy. I wanted the freedom, the adventure. And has the reality lived up to your expectation? It surpassed them, actually. He raises one eyebrow. What about you? After everything that happened, why did you decide to stay? Why I did why I dis, did I decide to stay? I never had a family like this before. Even with the mutant me. I'm I'll not apologize for that. I didn't expect you to. But still, that was an estranged uncle move if I ever saw one. I'm surprised you didn't just name the captain outright as your reason. Name the captain. Name the captain. <laughs> What do you mean? There's no reason to be coy. I know you fancy Edward. No! It's not my type. I like women. Really? I could have sworn there was something between you two. Yeah, friendship. You should try it sometime. I like Charlie. Finally, the two of you reach the sh reach shore. You pull... We pull the rowboat up onto the beach and look back out over the water. The rest of the crew is not far behind, but you still have Robert to yourself for a few more minutes. How did you, how did you start sailing with Edward, anyway? They haven't told you the tale? They have, but I want to hear it from your perspective. Two sides and all that. That's surprisingly fair-minded of you. Edward had a small crew. As did I. So we combined our efforts to take down a common enemy. Sound familiar? Yet, yeah, he became captain, not you. Not you! Not you! Rah! Aye. The crew made a mistake, and they've been paying for it ever since. Do you really think so little of Edward as a leader? Robert is quiet as he concerns his answer. Nay. He's a fine leader, but if you're going to engage in a profession as dangerous as piracy, then you need more than fine. Epper can run a tight ship, to be sure, but he doesn't have a cut the cutthroat nature necessary to thrive out here. Not anymore, at least. There's more than one way made to captain a pirate crew. Just because you want to be ruthless doesn't mean you have to be. I mean, look at Charlie. Everyone on both crews respects her. That's true enough. But then again, she's an ex exception in more ways than one. Charlie told me you rescued her from her father's house. Why? What do you mean, why? The way she tells it, you saved her. Well, as much as anyone can save a... <sighs> like Charlie. But you don't strike me as the type... as the white knight type. So there must have been something in it for you, and I want to know what it is. She's a, qu she's a good quartermaster, and a boon to any crew she's on. Even then, I could tell she's the kind of person you want to owe, to owe you a favor. So you did it out of selfishness? You can draw your own con conclusions. Can I ask you one more thing? I pray the gods there's only one more. Why did you lead the mutiny? Do you crave power that much? His eyes meet yours and his words chill you despite the heat. 
In a word, yes. But that's not why I mutinied or rallied the others to do so. Uh, excuse me, then why? I knew young Edward's quest was bound to bring the crew n nothing but ruin, and so it has. You open your mouth to respond, but... No time to waste! No time to waste! Rah! Robert's parrot alights on his shoulder as the rest of the crew arrives on the beach. Maggie, head out to the bluff and watch for the Admiral's arrival. Jonas, prepare the crates for transport. Samuel, survey the land and find us our ambush spot. Charlie jumps to your side as the crew gets to work. Did you learn what you needed to learn, love? I'm starting to. Polly alights on your shoulder as you watch Kendrick and Jonas unload crates from the rowboats. Watch the guards! Watch the guards! <laughs> of course you, of course you'd be, be inflicting another foul-mouthed bird on us. Watch your mouth, Kendrick, or he'll train her to attack. Oi! It's slipping. Do not drop that crate. Why? What do you have? I have in here explosives. Robert just glares as there's a you, as if waiting for you to catch up. You peer inside one of the crates to see, just waiting for one wrong move. Do you like our invention? It was Robert's idea to fill the tubes with black powder. Robert came up with this? Let's be more careful, and maybe talk, maybe talk in hushed whispers. You don't have to be that careful. Just don't drop the thing. Y you sigh and turn away from Robert to the rest of the crew who are watching the two of you closely. Five to one, Anthony. One. Anthony slaps Robert before, th before the end of the day. Only five to one odds? You've got yourself a deal. Quiet down, the both of you. Right, we have an audience, and I don't want to lose all the good will we'll be built up back at St. Silva. I won't worry about the explosives too much, Anthony. You've got an expert in, y in your misc. I didn't know. I didn't know almost getting your own hand blown off or blown off made you an expert. Captain, I have no luck finding, an, finding a spot suitable for an ambush. The beach is too to expose and the jungle is too thick. I found a clearing with a with a waterfall last time. We were here, but we can't guarantee the navy will even pass through there. But there is one place we know for sure they'll they will be. Robert turns to you with an unexpected look. I'm not giving you the treasure until we defeated the room and rescue Edward. Not yet, not yet. Rah! I'm not asking for the treasure. We won't dig it up yet. We just need to make sure we're in the right place at the time. The right time. He has to glance at Charlie, and she nods in encouragement. All right, you lot. Follow me. You lead both crews through the jungle. Robert sends his parrot to keep a lookout for the Navy. You tell, and you tell Polly to go with him. Keep an eye on him, okay? I'm on it. Rah! I'm surprised how parrots can talk. You stay at the head of the group, following signs of the path that you and Edward cleared not so long ago. You sure know you kn you sure you know where you're going, you lad? I'm sure. I'm the only one who knows how to get there. Yeah, stop doubting Anthony. Thank you, Jenny. You reach a point in the trail that's blocked by a fallen tree. Robert steps forward, unsheathing his sword to start hacking away at the trunk. Are you all going to stand there, or are you going to help? I've got a better idea. I believe that's our cue. The twins bound forward. Axton vaults over the trunk, with Ad Adelia balances on it long, long enough to execute a flawless... Blimey. Do they do that all the time? Only most of it. 
The trains lower a rope so the rest of you can climb over. Blast, blasted stupid branch. You see, you turn to see Octavia's skirts caught in the in on an entrant rig. Here, let me. You reach down to unhook her clothes from where where they're caught. When you're done, you hop down and reach back to offer Octavia your hand. After a moment's hesitation, she takes it. Thank you, Anthony. No problem. That's what crewmates are for. You continue to lead the crew through the jungle, trying to remember all the important landmarks on the way to the cave. This rock formation looks familiar. We must be getting close. There it is. Finally, you spot the entrance to the cave. It's just through here. Lovely spot for an ambush. Now, we just need to know where to protect. Both crews look at you expeditiously. No way am I trusting Robert with the real location of the compass, but I have to tell them something. You make a big show looking around the cave, then sigh. The compass is buried at the front of the cave, so we should focus our efforts there. A few traps in the right spot, and we and we take out half their numbers before we draw their, our swords. I believe this is my cue. Take Octavia with you. Maggie grabs your arm and lowers her voice to harsh, to harsh. Anthony, perhaps one of us should intervene. If Octavia and Kendrick lay the houses on their own, our side will have no idea where to th they're set. We'll just be as trapped as the Navy. For all we know, they're planning to set us up. We should offer to go with them in the name of trust. Besides, I think Kendrick's starting to get restless with them. He might be... He might just be willing to turn against his own, if we give him a good enough reason. Recruit Kendrick back to our side? Now there's an idea. An explosive expert could, or could definitely come in handy. Okay. Go with Kendrick. Octavia can stay here. Follow me, lad. You follow Kendrick away from the rest of the crew to the mouth of the cave and starts laying the, down the groundwork for various traps. Here, uncoil the rope for me to stretch it out across the path. Uncoil. You follow his directions quietly, but your mind is whirling. How am I supposed to convince him to come back to us? You think about what Maggie said about Kendrick being restless. These, there, these ropes, these rope traps should slow him down a bit for now. We'll put the explosives closer to the entrance so we don't bring the whole cave down on top of us. I saw some spots that might work just so say this way. See so if you start digging small holes for the traps. Kendrick, there's been something I've wanted to ask you. I can't tell you how I came to be so handsome, lad. I was just born this way. That's qu not quite what I had in mind. Why n when the mutiny happened, why did you choose Robert? Is it, is it because you truly believe he's a better captain than Edward? I don't think Robert is a better captain than Edward, but I think he's a better ch chance at getting me what I want. And what's that? Kendrick pauses when he's doing what he's doing and looks out into the jungle. What he's seeing, you're not quite sure. Then he looks back at you. For all Robert's disloyalty, he was making a lot of sense in those days. He promised us what any pirate wants. Gold and adventure. That's it? But I'm, a, I'm but a simple man, lad, with simple needs, and Robert offered the simplest way to meet them. 
And how's that working out for you? Seeing as how I'm here with with you about the fight about to fight the Admiral anyway, I'd say not well. Kendrick gives you a weird smile before laying down one of the sticks of explosive. He adds a small device on top of that and on top that you don't recognize. What's that? This wee thing thing creates a spark when stepped on, just enough to light the fuse to set off the trap. Clever. Like a landmine. I I've been known to come known to be from time to time. Come we've when we more set the traps to set. Catch it looks at the trail of traps you made behind you, a frown on his face. What's wrong? You don't look you don't think this will be enough to stop them? I it should s slow them down, but if we really want to do some damage, we should set some higher or to cause a rock slide. I know, just the place. You and Kendrick climb up to one of the r to one of the rock faces until you reach the peak. How's this? Pony. The two of you take a moment to admire the view. I did regret it, you know. I didn't like that we had to double cross you like that. If there had been another way, like there was always another way. Maybe you're right, but I didn't know what it was. So I still don't. It's not too late, you know. What do you mean? You could come back. You could join our crew again. We're family. You can still say that after everything I've done. That's what being a family is all about. Forgiveness. Besides, you're like that crazy cousin that everyone rolls their eyes at, but still loves even, even when even when he messes up. And what's a family without the crazy cousin? Far too normal. Exactly. You offer Kendrick a ha your hand. So what do you say? Come back? Kendrick gives you a long look, then grins and shakes it. You strike a hard bargain, lad. Deal. And that's it. I... Oh, right. There's one more. Never mind. The two of you finish setting up traps until you run out of explosives. Best we be getting back... Back, Captain. Edward's still the captain, but welcome home, Kendrick. You and Kendrick return to the cave to, and rejoin the others. How'd it go, Anthony? Let's just say we'll be splitting our spoils into an extra share next time. It's good to have him back. You settle in to wait as Maggie gives the good news to the rest of your crew. You unsheet your sword to look it over. Robert glares at you, but you just smirk. Don't worry, Robert. I've been taking excellent care of your steel. You'll need you'll need it more than I will. You walk over to where Jonas is measuring out powder for pistol charges. You need some, Anthony? You offer him your pistol. That's a mighty fine piece of equipment you've got here there. Sure. Sure you know how to use it. Charlie taught me. Ah, uh, then that's a yes. You examine some of the large stalactites. Ah, I said it right. And stalactites in the cave. Hello, down below. You look up, smiling at nothing when you see Ada and Axe tucked neatly in among in among the stalactites overhead. Uh, excuse me. How's the view up there? Can't ask for a better cover, that's for sure. Care to join us?
I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Just when Robert's para sweeps into the cave's entrance. Navy's here! Navy's here! <laughs> Prepare for battle! Rah! You and you, Robert and Charlie get gather in the corner. We have a few minutes before the Navy finds us. Shall we go over the plan once more? We wait here to ambush the Navy with our traps, doing most of the work during the fight. A smaller group of us will sneak onto the Admiral's ship and rescue Edward. Makes sense to me. Love, why don't you join the boarding party to rescue Edward? You know the Admiral's ships, Admiral's ships better than the rest of us. Lead the boarding party to rescue Edward and unlock an exclusive scene with him. <sighs> fine, fine, fine. I'm going to save Edward. Charlie, can you stay behind and keep an eye on everything? Aye. Right. You just focus on bringing our captain, bringing back our captain, and take Samuel and Jonas with you. Polly, I need you to stay here and help Charlie keep an eye on Robert, okay? On it! You lead Samuel and Jonas through the jungle toward the beach. The Navy's most likely to come up the path we took from the beach since the way is already cleared. We should cut around the other side of this, the island. We're at your command, Anthony. You hear the sound of voices up ahead and wave around, wave everyone to silence. And the three of you slip behind the waterfall just as the troop of Navy soldiers marches past. You hold your finger to your lips. You hold your finger to your lips, signaling to the others to stay silent. You finally reach the beach and spot an officer and half a dozen crewmen buying about the admirals anchored behind them. Stay alert! We're not, we're not to leave our post unless we hear the sound of a horn echoes down from the direction of the cave. The signal! Calling for reinforcements! Come lads, let's bury the pirates scum once and for all! The officer and his men rush into the jungle, leaving the beach clear. You turn to your companions. Let's go get Edward! Shouldn't we deal with the deal with the reinforcements? You rush for the nearest rowboat and push it out of the, out into the water. Are you sure about this, this Anthony? If the admiral's men sees us approaching, we'll be easy pickings for them. We'll approach the ship from the other side. They won't think to stand guard in the other direction of the open ocean. With Jonas and Samuel at the oars, the three of you quickly row to the far side of the side of the man of war without being spotted. Looks like there's only one way up. Ed Jonas points to the heavy slippery anchor rope that stretches up up the to the deck. You nod and they bring the rowboat close enough for you to grab on. Just keep coming, just keep climbing. Just you reach the ship deck and throw down a ladder to the others. You just offered Samuel a hand when Pirates! Pirates on board! All hands on deck. Finally. Jonas and she's his weapon with with what can be only be called glee. We'll handle this same thing. Go go find Edward. As the Navy men stampede toward the fight, you slip past them and down into the hold. Edward, you spot him leaning against the hull in the back corner of his cell. Ify, what are you doing here? Edward winces as he sits up quickly when he sees you. You need to get out of here at once. The Admiral isn't even on the ship right now, and a few men, and the few men who are here are being held off by Jonas and Samuel as we speak. Jonas and Samuel, understanding down, uh, understanding dawns on his face. Mr. Williams, what did you do? 
I did what any pirate would do. Sometimes you have to make a hard bargain to get what you want. I hope Robert has been treating you well. Well enough, but don't worry. I give as good as it gets. Off of that, I have no doubt. Hopefully. You lift the ring of keys off his, off his peg on the wall and find this, the one that fits Edward's cell. Well, are you coming? You offer Edward a hand and help him to his feet. He rises his face closer than you ever expected. Mr. Williams, thank you for saving me. Let's get out of here. Can you walk? Can you fight? Aye. On both counts. Good. Because we're going to need all the help we can get back at this cave. On the way back to the caves, you catch Edward up on everything that's happened since you last saw, saw him last. You have had quite the adventure in my absence. That's one way of putting it. We're just glad to have you back, Captain. Although Anthony made a fine leader in your stead. Did he now? And sir, if I might just say, Samuel, if you're not going to apologize for your role in the mutiny, I don't want to hear it. You can hear shouting up ahead as you approach the cave, and the four of you grow quiet. Look there! Samuel points up to where half a dozen of nets traps are strung up in the trees. The captured soldiers inside are still jousting about. Cut us down, you sniveling worms! You, Samuel, Jonas, and Edward stay crouched low as you enter the cave, unsure what you'll find inside. I'm pretty sure we'll find something. Soldiers, watch your step! You don't want to set off any... The officer steps on a tr on the trap, and the ground shakes as one powder charges, ignites beginning a cascade of explosions, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> retreat! Retreat! Navy men fly in every direction, disseminating their front ranks. Kendrick grins at you from across the... I knew he'd make a good addition to the team. But as the smoke starts to clear, you see a familiar silhouette in the middle of the cave. Attack! Your friends leap from their hiding spots, attacking the navy soldiers with everything they got. You draw your so sword to raise it high. Charge! You rush into, into the fight and find yourself face to face with... Ah, Mr. Williams. I was wondering if we'd meet, ever meet again. I can assure you this will be the last time. You brandish your sword at the at the Admiral, its gl gilted hilt sparking with the light streaming down the cave. On guard! Admiral Cotrain steps forward menacingly, but you quickly match his footwork and spin around using your momentum to strike. How did you... Your days of underestimating me are over. With a series of quick movements, you push your s offensive. The onslaught of your attack soon has the Admiral breathing heavily, but he manages to parry most of your strikes. Excuse me. Do not raise rise to the head of the Navy without knowing know to know, know how to use a sword, boy. Maybe so, but even the most experienced swordsman can be felled by a trick he's never seen before. Speaking of, <laughs> you fake you fake like you're going to attack the admiral from above. Not so fast, but when he moves to block you, you deliver a quick blow to his stomach with your other fists knocking the wind out of him. Gotcha. I surrender. Please, don't hurt me. You turn your head at the sound of shouts coming from your right. When you look back, the Admiral has disappeared into the heat of the battle. Where did he where did that coward go? Impressive. Maybe you deserve that sword after all. Robert is a few feet behind you, having just dispatched a Navy officer of Careful, Robert. That sounded like an awful lot, like a compliment. 
My apologies. It won't happen again. From across the cave, you spot a sailor rushing toward Charlie from behind. Yeah. Charlie, look out! You try to warn her, but the sailor is too close. She doesn't have time to react. I have to take care of him myself. He blasts the man right in the shoulder, halting his progress on the spot. Excellent shot, love. Thanks. Had an excellent teacher. You dispatch another navy navy man, then look around the crewmates to see your around the cave to see your crewmates fighting for their lives. Adelia tumbles and flips toward an officer, moving so quickly that he doesn't know where to aim his pistol. Just stay still. Why don't you be a better marksman? While she's distracting the man, Axon and Kendrick sneak up behind him with a rope outstretched between them. On my count, one, two, three. The two of them swing the rope down and under, undercut the officer's leg, leg sending him swelling onto his back. Nicely done, gentlemen. Dynamic, the dynamic duo, duo strikes again. I believe we're a dynamic trio now. They're getting along well. Nearby, Charlie and Octavia are fighting off a horde of men back to back. Not even a challenge. They probably th don't think we're a threat. Then let's show th these men how it's done. A series of bombs go off in the far corner of the cave. Fire in the hole! Careful, child, we don't want to cause a cave in. Not our crew! Not our crew! Crack! The parrots circle the navy soldiers, diving and pecking at the men in the tent. And Surrender your booty! Samuel, hello, help here? Maggie's fighting off a navy man much larger than her. Unhand her this instant, you rapscallion! Why should I? Because, good sir, I may know how to mend your bones, but I also know how to break them. Samuel grabs the man's wrist and bends it backwards. You can hear of the crunch of bones even from several feet away. Ooh. Remind me you never get on the Samuel's bad side. Anthony, look out! You duck on the instant as a knife whistles on your head by your head. You turn to find its origin, but Robert has already taken out the soldier. Thanks. Don't get used to it. Even if he doesn't want to admit it, Charlie was right. We bonded on that boat right over her. The tide turns as the battle continues. The overwhelming numbers of the navy you start to seem manageable. Keep it up. We've got them on the ropes. We might actually, we might do this. We might actually do this. Just then, there's a great clash in the center of the cave as Edward and the Admiral come face to face. How the bloody did you escape, pirate? Remember. Besides, I owe you a death. A death. I'm willing to forgive just this once. Edward growls as he raises his sword against the other man, but before their duel can begin in earnest, Admiral, we found it, but it wasn't where he said it was. We still haven't found on the pirate's hoard, but this was uncovered in the back of the cave. You look over to see that in the confusion of the fight, a few was who has gone covered. Crap, how did they find it? No! Oh, finally! I'll take that! Rack. You watch in relief as Robert's parrot dives at the officer holding the compass and plucks the chain out of the man's hand. Oi! Give that back! But the bird circles overhead, seemingly unaware that every pistol in the cave is now aimed at him. Hold your fire! Now that treasure is now that the treasure is uncovered, we don't need to continue this bit of a battle. What are you talking about? As the Admiral turns the, to answer Edward's question, you whisper to Robert. Quick, tell your bird to fly out of here. We'll retreat and figure out how to get the rest back for you later, as agreed. A tempting offer, but I'm afraid I had a better one. I knew it! What do you mean? You watch in horror as Robert saunders through the Navy ranks to the Admiral's side and whistles for his parrot to drop the compass in... Coltrane's outrich hand. Robert, what are you doing? Rock, better deal, better deal. Thank you, my good man. 
Robert, I knew you'd betray us the first chance you got. Of course. You of all people should know you can never trust a pirate. See? I knew they were gonna... Mm. They sold out to the man. Anyway, hope... Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.